Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about 7 Reasons of Foundation Failure for Building. 7 Common Reasons are Low Bearing Capacity of Soil Improper Construction Poor Construction Ground Vibration Large trees, plumbing issues, improper drainage, low bearing capacity of soil. The bearing capacity of soil is the maximum average contact pressure between the foundation and the soil which should not produce shear failure in the soil. Soil bearing capacity will play a very important role in knowing whether a particular soil is able to withstand the amount of load acting on a structure or not. If a structure is constructed and if the soil is unable to bear the load then it results in settlement of structure resulting in cracks and damage to the structure. So to overcome this footings are designed accordingly which can withstand the loads preventing damage to the structure. So design of footings depends on soil bearing capacity of soil. Improper construction Poor building site and ground preparation Cut and fill situations where the soil is removed from part of the lot and stacked on another, must have proper soil stabilization before the structure is constructed. Otherwise, unexpected movements of the soil beneath the foundation may occur. If the builder failed to prepare the soil before your home's foundation was poured, it can cause foundation settlement. Loose, not properly compacted soil starts to compact on its own and then the foundation starts to settle into the ground. Soft, low density soils and improperly compacted soil beneath a foundation is one of the leading causes of foundation failure. The grading of the soil should always divert water away from your home to that the water is not allowed to seep under the foundation. Ground Vibration Considering indirect effects on the foundation and walls as the vibration energy induces differential settlement in the bearing soils. Direct vibration damage is caused by vibration energy transmitted to the foundation through direct contact with the bearing soils. Indirect vibration damage refers to uneven movement in a foundation and or walls of a structure, which can occur if the structure is minimally designed or constructed with imagery loose sand profile and poorly compacted by the contractor. Plumbing Issues Plumbing leaks are another major contributor to foundation settlement. Inundating the foundation with water from your home's pipes will cause foundation failure, as would poor drainage on the outside. Water from plumbing leaks can actually seep beneath your home, a very common cause of foundation problems. Large Trees 
tree roots can desiccate the soil beneath a home, causing it to shrink and the home to settle. During an active season, roots extending beneath and around the footings of the house can remove moisture from the soil, causing it to become desiccated. Again, where expansive soils exist this removal of moisture will cause soil shrinkage and settlement. Improper Drainage Poor drainage from yard runoff and gutter downspouts discharging at the base of the foundation are among other causes. Excess moisture around the foundation can cause the soils to become oversaturated and lose bearing pressure, or the strength to support weight. When this happens, structures settle or sink into the ground. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share, and do not forget to press bell icon.